episode 30, and we're going to start Final V. Uh, if we played him at end, would he be a good deal? Right outside linebacker is probably not a great idea for him. Um, I might I might do it and change him to his position and cost him the 10 awareness. But uh, just for... Because it would be kind of fun. But yeah, we're going to take Jordan Evans here. 26-year-old. Um, 88 speed. So... Because uh, Ken, Kendall Donerson was just on the field a lot. So I imagine that that's what's going to happen again. He might as well have someone some decent speed so anyways episode 30 guys can you believe it all right all right gonna grab another corner as well Artie Burns can't see my keyboard 73 overall so corners are a bit stacked 1.34 million, 26 year old active roster. There, I think um, 60 grand in. So any other players have to be low in budget players. I got 61 total. We need a couple more to. Uh, to fill in a roster I think so we'll just uh, look at some of these cheaper ones that are worthwhile see if I can sign them like well, why not sign this 70 overall safety here Andrew Adams okay so I have to sign this tight end I love his name and uh, you know, we don't have very good tight ends anyway, so it's a blocking tight end, 27 year old. Ben Braunecker, almost like Breaknecker. So, uh, if it'll let me do it, I'm kind of over my limit of salary cap. So, I know it's your top 53 players, so maybe it will, maybe it won't. Yeah, so it won't. Okay. So we weren't able to do that. That's kind of what I thought would happen. Dang. 36 overall. These must be the... Uh, Trent Sig. Hey, he's a 36. Jermaine Gresham. There's not so many blocking tight ends, huh? Hmm. Expensive. Okay. Never mind. We need a cornerback. One more corner. Should have gone the other way. Sorry, guys. And we'll just look at our speed ratings here. We can do Mark Fields. I think Mark Fields might be the best bet. The 24-year-old Mark Fields. Interestingly enough, they put um, it in the proper order. So we'll have... Uh, Here's our people. Here's what we're going to be doing. It's not going to be always be. I heard that they actually do not just get bronzes. Sometimes they get other ones. So I'm going to let that stand. We're going to sim both of them. And we have started training camp, basically. So. Some hidden talents. Got some players to upgrade already. Our center can be upgraded again. 
will be the center this year. Let's take a look at transactions and retirements. Okay, no one retired. People are released from the draft. This must be the ones that didn't make it in the draft. Um, do I want to mess? Hey, our defense went down a point. Mess with anything going into the draft. Do we want new sliders? I'm going to drop accuracy a little bit more. Increase interceptions. Injuries will be one point up. Okay. I'm just going to leave it like that and uh, do a preseason. Play the full game. It's fast forward. It's preseason. All I hope for is no injuries. Jonathan Coachman wants to know, coming off a strong preseason and a good record a year ago, how far can this team go? Super Bowl or bust? We have to cut 12 players, but first, let's look at our stats. And also, let's see if my coach has any. Oh, he's got tons of experience. Dang it. Running back training, tight end training. Okay, so we need a little bit more so we can do running back training. Okay, so this is how the Packers ended. Um, 600 yards for Preston Larson, 62%. Four touchdowns, one interception, Aaron Rodgers, 1-1. One, one. Better rating, rushing-wise, Corey Grant, 3.4 yards, Aaron Rodgers, 4.5. Receiving, John Ross got the most receiving yards, but Jamal Williams has touchdowns. Uh, let's see, defensively, sacks went to Ronald Blair the third and John Michaels, Andrew Brown, Blake Martinez. We have plenty of sacks. Kenny Clark, half sack. No inters. Exceptions. So, um, yep, yep, yep. So that was the end of uh, that. We just need to cut our 12 players now and uh, 10 go to the practice squad and 2 have to be cut. So, they're terrible backup offensive linemen. James Looney, maybe. The bench left end. Can't be on the practice squad. Marquise Flowers, this is the guy that we signed. No. No linebacker. Yeah, it is. Signed it to the active practice squad or active. We might not even make it through. Well, we have Joel David here. Alan Lazard's in trouble. Our 
second defensive tackle bench wide receiver Niven okay lots of options lots to think about so to cut some players we needed to cut 12 I've cut a uh, Tymon Paris, who was a 25 year old right tackle with a 64 overall average. Um, and that was 54. Benji Black, which was a halfback, 58 overall. Um, 23 year old Benji Black, who maybe I just picked up. Last year, maybe? Let's look at the 20 roster. Yeah, Benji Black was a practice squad player. I was picked up. And so he was signed to a two-year deal. Um, Benji Black. And we're going to cut James Looney. So our bench made it a while. Um, next up is Marquise Flowers, who I just signed. Didn't make it through preseason. So signed him to be a backup linebacker. But And Joe Will Davis, wide receiver. So those are my, my players that I've cut leaving us with uh, a couple of spots for practice squad players to sign. So we have three possibilities. So Eubanks, Copland, which I'm pretty sure are my draft picks. Yeah, fourth round and fifth round. Two fourth round draft picks right here. Our Polk, Kiki, Spence, Dallin Fields, let's look at the 20 roster for draft picks. Hulk, Spence, Dallin Fields are not draft picks, but pretty much everybody except for Kiki up here is my draft picks from the prior years, so they're at least they're sticking around on the practice squad before. They'll probably be re replaced. Let's see what kind of players can we add. Practice squad eligible. Damian Harris is still practice squad eligible. Wow. Well, we'll have to do that. Probably pick up this corner and a strong safety. Let's just go back real quick here. Why not, huh? Get some good players on our practice squad that will be converted over to next year. That's what we're going to do. Pretty sure this is the Marquise Blair that was uh, the uh, Seattle Seahawks starting safety. So let's look at some of these players that are available. Max Crosby, we know who he is. Pat Colvin. Jared Barker. There's a name from the past. All right, so let's quick look at this. We're just going to skip forward to next week now that my practice squad is. Yes. Oh no, it's not. I have one more. Oh, yeah, this guy. Okay. There we go. 
the regular season begins. And it is time to go. So I will continue this in a split second, which will be tomorrow. Some players already ready to negotiate their contract. Really? Oh, because I signed them in the preseason? Get to see who's... Oh, well, that's nice. I never... I guess I've never seen this before. All right, so we have Devontae Adams. Jair Alexander, Marquise. Valdez, Scantling. Kiki Cote, Josh Jackson. Nick of St. Brown. Owen Burke, Alan Lazard. Oh, there's some people I want to keep. But it's expensive. $43 million in salary cap next year. But, uh, yeah. 70 over, that's like 15 million a year. We should be able to fit some of this in there. Definitely. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Probably not. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Definitely. Most likely. Most likely. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, ugh. Oh my goodness. All right. Starting this new day, but not new episode off with a Jireer Alexander point. Let's get that man-to-man -man skills going. 87 overall now. Ooh, catching, press, and tackle. Nice. All right, so we uh, we got this is our players to be signed. John Ross, Artie Burns, Jordan Evans. These are all the people that I signed off practice squad, and then we have the big boys. Devontae Adams, 28-year-old Devontae Adams wants $70 million. Yeesh. This one, yep. Yeah. This one, yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Lots of lots of lots of good good players this time around on the draft. And it's funny how John Ross is always available. Um, you know, with that speed and acceleration. I mean this is I'm definitely gonna do that. Not sure Artie Burns is really high up on my uh depth chart. And these two Definitely got to consider that. Um, Devontae Adams, not speedy, but... Oh, and Trayvon Mullen was signed for my practice squad, so I have to get a new practice squad player. Let's do that before we play the Bears, since the Bears stole one off of my thing. Um, so you got two halfbacks, two wide receivers, a right end, right end. We have some sort of offensive lineman. Yeah, this right guard here, Chad Reeves, probably needs some some linemen, so I'm gonna go ahead and mark that down. So this just must be like the starters or whatever. They get their 81 overall, so the Packers are also an 81 overall. Um, interesting. So I'm doing the tracking of the talent for the entire team, not just starters, but uh, basically for 2021. The average age dropped a little bit. They're still a little over four years old on average for the average um, NFL um, whatever 
playing career, whatever. The average age is 25.8, which has dropped a half a year. The talent went up a half a point to 73 on offense. On defense, the average a year went substantially up, went from 3.6 years to 4.7 years. Because basically everybody went up a year and then uh, I didn't really get rid of anybody but Nick Perry, I guess. I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, the average age also went up an entire year. So the average age on defense is almost 26. But the overall went up, what, one and a half points for the entire team. So um, that's pretty awesome. So the left guard has a pulled groin. And uh, there is something interesting about the Bears roster already. Tyler Ta Tyrod Taylor is the starting quarterback, of course. Fullback is still Tariq Cohen. David Montgomery is his backup. Fullbacks is Danny Vitale, the former Packer. Wide receivers Allen Robinson, Taylor Gabriel, Anthony Miller. Ridley. So only one non real player tight ends are Trey Barton still and Charles Clay can't go wrong with that Charles Leno Jr. is still the left end centers like my center Kyle Long Bobby Massey right left end is Akeem Hicks still Takis McKinley is a bear Eddie Goldman Ryan Glasslow Khalil Mack once again 30 years old but beast Roquan Smith and Darren Lee. Darren Lee is so happy to be off of the Jets. Leonard Floyd. Cornerbacks. Look at this. So there's there's our Trayvon Mullen, who is their second cornerback. And then there's their nickelback and their dime back. So we need to uh, we have a good matchup there. Free safety, Edgy Jackson. Jaleel Adai makes up their all right let's do this Packers are kicking off first we're gonna be on defense first Need to uh, adjust my sheet here Tyrod Taylor's stats taking over from Mitchell Trubisky who they did not resign I would guess so back to pass no real pass rush but Tyrod Taylor throws it out of bounds We just talked about Kenny Clark should have a pretty good day against their center. That's what we're hoping for. Kenny Clark is our X factor now. Yep, look at that. Blowing up Tyree Cohen with uh, Blake Martinez there. At some point, Arthur Steed gained a point in development, so. Nice break up there by Darnell Savage Jr. on Allen Robinson. Fourth down already, so the Packers are getting the ball. Yep, just tipped it away at the last minute there. And here comes the punt. Booming punt. Returnable. And there we go. Donald Driver. I mean, no, not Donald Driver. That was Johnny Lynn there. Here's Aaron Rodgers' statistics. 80 overall now. Preston Larson, our hidden talent backup. 
great pickup. Hand off. Aaron Jones up the middle. Breaks a tackle. Spins. Gets himself a few yards there. Offensive line. David Bakhtiari is the only one that's... Oh, Elton Jenkins, too. Going Chase Sternberger as the starting tight end this year. Hand off, up, up the middle, big hole. Aaron Jones, couple more yards. Attacking the center of that defense. Four stars, one X Factor, three superstars on that team. Actually, there's two X Factors on that defense. So, the X Factor is Cleo Mack, and then on the defense, who is it? Kyle Fuller? It's gotta be Kyle Fuller. No, maybe it's Eddie Jackson, the safety. Eddie Jackson, the safety is an X Factor. Right side of our line has their hands full. Oop. Clean up Mac blew through there, got a half sack. Third down and 13 now. Embarrassed. Our right tackle. Malcolm Sturgeon, which, to be fair, kind of be, kind of is what it is, you know. Big third down and 13 here for the Packers. And Rogers back to pass, pass up the middle. That looks like a first down, buddy. 14 yards, first completed pass. Our superstar MBS. Nice job, MVS getting it done. Packers wide receivers are pretty loaded, in my opinion, with Devontae Adams, MVS, John Ross, and Kiki Kote. Oops. Gotta get rid of the ball, Aaron. Oh, I meant to change the sliders, too. I found a different slider setting I was going to use. Episode's getting long, but it's a handoff up the middle. No. Off the right side, and it was Roquan Smith broke it up. Third down and 19 now for the Packers. Aaron Rodgers back to pass. Pass over the middle. It's intercepted. And he gets up. He's running down the field. Aaron Rodgers starting off with an interception. Anyways, we're going to find out how the Bears season, or the Bears-Packers game ends in the next episode. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching.